by people. As you all know, 1883 has been a vital part of our lives despite the fact that it's been around for only a couple of months. We cannot help but think about the show since it not only exposes us to the brutal realities of the past, but also ends every episode with yet another cliffhanger that troubles our minds for the rest of the week. While we resent the show a little bit for that, we also notice the resemblance with its original series, Yellowstone. Yellowstone is also known for its shocking endings and endless twists and turns that make us go crazy. Since it's evident that Yellowstone has been highly successful by following this path, we believe it's inevitable for 1883 to reach a similar level of success as well. That being said, we're still upset about the fact that we're only one step away from the season finale of the show and facing the death of arguably the best character of the series. This frustration of ours reached a point that we are ready to accept even the most annoying trope of all time, which is to find out that everything was a dream. Yes, we know that it sounds like a joke at first, but what if it isn't? We know that 1883 is doing wonders in portraying the life circumstances of the 19th century in a most accurate way. From the atmosphere to the set, many things on the show are near perfection as far as historical accuracy is concerned. This suggests that the show has been doing its best to produce the best quality TV by being as realistic as possible. And yet, the show also surprises us with its illogical moves at the most unexpected moments. For instance, as far as the clothing is concerned, Elsa enjoys a freedom that arguably no woman in the era had the chance to experience. Even if there have been a few examples, the rareness of the situation makes it highly unbelievable. There have been times that we looked at the screen and saw a modern woman instead of a 19th century, one since she was basically wearing a t-shirt and a pant. The Duttons are also unbelievably cool with their daughter's sexual life, which is a taboo topic in the era, especially for women. While we prefer to watch an independent woman whose family is supportive of their actions at all times, when we think about the historical accuracy, we realize that it makes no sense at all. As you can see, the show feels free to stretch the borders of reality whenever it feels convenient to do so. Therefore, we believe it wouldn't be a shock to have some magical realism elements within it as well. When we say magical realism, don't think of some fantastic creatures or true magic that will completely change the show's genre. Instead, we argue that it wouldn't be so shocking to see Elsa having nightmares after being separated from Sam and losing innies as her depression causes her to suffer deeply. If we're wrong, it means that there has been a massacre in episode 9 of 1883 that killed multiple people and deadly injured Elsa, who was trying to protect her family. It also means that we will witness Elsa, the protagonist of the show, as well as our beloved narrator, will die in episode 10 of the series and will cause us to mourn after her for months up until season 2. While this isn't an impossible scenario to occur, it's not a very convenient one for the sake of the show. Losing Elsa who is the most well-developed character of the series, would cause many audiences to drop the show since they don't care about other characters as much. Therefore, Elsa needs to be saved one way or another. Since the medical capabilities of the era are limited, the only option that's left to save Elsa is to make sure none of these actually happened. Is it lazy writing? Yes. Would we prefer lazy writing over a sad ending? Absolutely yes. What do you think about Elsa? Do you think the show can survive without her? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, see you in the next video.